What is the origin of life and universe? The Buddha had already expounded that the life of sentient beings and the universe originated from the mind, the eighth consciousness. All phenomena are manifestations of the mind. The container world, where sentient beings reside, is generated by the collective karma of sentient beings' eight consciousness. Due to the collective karmic seeds of all individuals stored in their own Tahagartha Garba, myriad worlds are generated. Individuals with specific karma receive particular retributions in accordance with the law of causality. Does free will really exist? Being able to choose one's own cognition is called free will. Sentient beings' will is both free and not free at the same time. Sentient beings' ability to make decisions about performing good or bad deeds is the freedom of will. The results of good or bad deeds determine the place of rebirth after death. They confine one's will to receive more sufferings or happiness, and one's emotional, intellectual, and rational ability as well, which is the unfree part of the will. Does the ability to see the illusory nature and let go of the material world mean liberation? From the viewpoint of the mundane world, if Buddhist disciples only focus on seeing and letting go of the illusory nature of the material world, this may seem to be working, but they won't be able to attain true liberation in Buddhism. True liberation is based on being able to transcend the three realms by eliminating afflictions as well as completely attaining the wisdom and virtues required for a perfect bodhi path practice. Does one have to distance himself from all desires to practice Buddhism? Buddhism has two different approaches of cultivation one for monastic monks and nuns, and the other for lay people. If one chooses to take the vow of becoming a Buddhist monk or nun, one should distance oneself from worldly desires, abide by strict precepts, and practice diligently. If one practices as a lay person, one is also encouraged to reduce worldly desires. A lay practitioner does not have to distance himself from all desires in order to practice Buddhism. The Buddha can only help liberate those who incline towards Buddhism. The Buddha waits patiently for the conditions to mature, for every sentient being to the point where he can help them attain Buddhahood in the future.